Hello guys, welcome. In this video, we will see how to configure prerequisites for Cloudera Hadoop installation. So in previous video, so I have explained how to deploy a virtual machine in Azure. So here we are connecting that virtual machine and doing the prerequisites configuration. So first step, so connect using the public IP and uh, here I'm just changing the terminal and uh, uh, font uh, settings. Like we use the username VM admin and once prompted type the password. So this is the password which I set uh, during the virtual machine deployment. So we can easily switch to root using sudo sui and it will prompt us to type the password. So we can type the password for VM admin. So now we are logging as root user. And if you look here like a uh, host name typo, so host name iPhone F. So that will uh, list or print the host name, but the, here the name is somewhat uh, very long. So we can change that host name using the host name CTL command. Then use the option set host name and whatever the name we want to set. Here I'm just changing to master1.hadoop.com. So it will permanently set this host name to master1.hadoop.com. And if you just type the host name iPhone F now, so you can see that name is master1.hadoop.com. Okay, so now we have set the host name to master1.hadoop.com. And uh, we will check the IP address that is it's a uh, uh, 10.0.0.4 so we will be updating this IP address and host name to etc host so use this IP address so 10.0.0.4 and host name is master1.hadoop.com and its short name is master1 so save this uh, changes and uh, that's it so we have updated the host name to etc host so the master1.hadoop.com and its short name as master that is updated in the etc host so now we will have to disable the firewall so basically uh, it there will be a lot of ports uh, communication involved between the host and uh, the, from this host to outside so we need to disable or turn off the internal uh, firewall that is a firewall service. we can disable that then the next step is uh, AC Linux. So we have to disable the AC Linux. By default, AC Linux settings may be in the enforcing mode so that we will change to disable state. So we can just uh, copy that disable and add it here. So AC Linux to disable state. That's it. Save it. And the next, uh, there are some uh, performance uh, tuning parameter. So we will change the VM swappiness value. So for that, open etccctl.conf and add that parameter and value here. So that is VM dot swappiness, and that value I'm just adding to 10. So that means when 90 percentage of uh, physical memory is used, then only it start using virtual memory. So uh, that that's it about the VM swappiness and uh, we need to check uh, this ntp or crony d uh, diamond is there so the crony d is also used for time synchronization so either crony d or if it's not there so we will check uh, ntpd service is there or not so we will check so ntpd is also not installed so we need to install ntpd uh, service using system uh, m hyphen y install ntp so that will install NTPD uh, service into our system and based on the internet bandwidth so this takes some time to install so once this is installed so we can turn on the service using system CTL enable NTPD so that next reboot onwards the service will be always up and running so uh, please remember to reboot uh, your machine if you are making these changes so before installing so you need to reboot next is a transparent huge page so we need to disable that THP and this is also the performance related property so go to this uh, directory and uh, check this file 
so uh, and if you, you can just scan this content and see uh, what is the current uh, status it's in always state so that means THP is enabled so we need to change it to disable that is you can echo never to that file so that will do and there is one more file uh, so you can see this change now now it's changed from always to never so this is changed to never now after echoing never so one more file we need to uh, do that is defrag so just to see uh, that file content defrag and it's also set to always so this is also we need to change to never so print echo never to this file and you can verify that using <coughs> this cat command and uh, you can see now uh, from always it's changed to never state so that's it about uh, THP or transparent huge page memory settings and uh, uh, yeah and one more thing so this two uh, echo option so we need to add into etc rc.local file because every time the system reboot so we need to do this uh, settings change okay so copy the second one uh, that is for defrag so add that also as a second line and uh, <clears throat> properly arrange this line and then save so you can see we are printing never to these two files so also the next thing you need to make sure like you have enough space to install the software so in my case uh, we have a slash drive and which is having around 32 gig and uh, out of that only five percentage is in use so i have enough space to install and configure so otherwise you need to make sure like you have enough disk space to handle so that's it about the prerequisites i hope you enjoyed this learning thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye